Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Aries for the week of April 28th. And I would like to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed. And for all the thumbs up on the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing all of that. All right. And your first card out is the Hierophant. So, making a stand for yourself, understanding what it is that you have to do, what you want to do, talking it over with some friends, relatives, somebody that you look up to and, and trust. You have a lot of wisdom here. And perhaps somebody's going to ask you some information this week that you're willing to share your support. And the King of Wands, yeah. Motivating to make changes, you know, in all areas of your life. You're having more confidence in yourself, you're understanding what it is that you want to do, and you're making plans for your future. For some of you, you're actually making plans for a future trip to somewhere, place that you've wanted to go for quite some time. You've thought about it, you've heard about it, perhaps even read about it. But now you're actually putting action into it, like looking at it of how, how about to go about it, where it is, that sort of stuff. But you're taking the next step in this area and the death card yeah but you're you know and here it is that you know you're learning that there's some things in your life now that you need to release let go you now this could be stuff from your past that you know it doesn't always have to be negative that's happened by any means it's just things that help you grow and move forward so you're taking that next step in your evolution going forward you know but you're realizing there's some things in your life doesn't quite you know, fit with you anymore. So you're glad that they're over. You're moving yourself forward. You're no longer holding yourself back. You know, if this was a, a situation that you've been thinking about for a while of getting away from, this is the week that you're taking the next step in, in that moving forward for yourself. And the Page of Pentacles. So there's money coming in. Opportunities are abound. You know, you're making changes here you really are you know you're defining what it is that you want in your life you're getting your health back in order you're taking care of yourself you know um you're just looking out into all the possibilities of the future and you know and you're manifesting what it is that you want to bring into your life for your finances and your opportunities moving forward in the future you're very skilled you know maybe perhaps you don't realize just how much knowledge and stuff that you have on offer f to others and the ten of swords yeah there's been you know some some endings that you've had to let go of and they've left a mark on you you know sometimes it it's been like a betrayal you know maybe you've taken somebody into confidence not so long ago and and you know, and you've told them some things and all of a sudden, you know, they've blabbed it to the world. So, you know, or this could be for some of you, it's a deep wound. You know, it's some sort of betrayal that actually hurt you. It could have been something that somebody said and you got wind of it and you realize uh, where the source was, what, it, you know, who said what, where and how. And it sort of, you know made you crumble to your knees a little bit because it was so unexpected but it really hurt and it you know left a mark on you and you're thinking that you know I don't want to associate with this anymore so you know it's it's an ending here you know and this can be in a relationship a job a friendship but whatever it is you're walking away from it you're done with it you're finished you've given it all you can give it and you're moving on to better places for yourself and the Empress, yeah, there it is, you know, you're very nurturing and caring. This is your 
you know, abundance card, things are starting to come to life for you, you know, all that are around you. For many of you, this is a, a new addition coming into the family. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to give birth to somebody. This could be somebody in your family who is giving birth and, you know, you're celebrating. It's a new arrival and it makes you just sort of, you know, feel happy and fulfilled. Uh, for others of you, this could be a new project that's getting off the ground. Maybe you've thought about doing something for a while and you've never really pushed the the matter too far. You just sort of accept it as it was. But now you're starting to get that feeling again of you want to do something, you want to get at it. You know, this new project has uh, sparked your interest, but it's going to pay off for you in the future. It doesn't mean immediately, but it has roots and it can grow and, and you can see the potential. And the Ace of Pentacles. So look at that. It definitely, you know, good luck here. Money, tangible uh, goods, material gains. For some of you, this is you're getting back into a routine, taking care of yourself and your health. You know, that sort of thing. And you're getting your life back in more balance. You know, you manifested these opportunities for this new career. And your finances are going to grow because of it. This, this opportunity is going to take you in a whole new area. Which is very nice to see for you. Because this new adventure has got, you know, great potential to just keep growing and going. And the Four of Pentacles, yeah. You're saving money. You want security and comforts and, you know, and you're in control of that and you know that. So you're squirreling away your money and your finances. Maybe you have, um, for some of you, something that you want to purchase in the future and you're figuring out that you have to have X number of dollars. So you're cutting corners and pinching pennies and trying to get what it is that you want. So... You know, you're holding on to your purse strings quite, quite quickly. And the tower card. Yeah, you know, you've had a sudden change around you. Some sort of upheaval in your life. And, you know, it's opened your eyes to seeing things more clearly for yourself. You know, this could have been um, in a job situation. This could have been in your, your relationships, your family. Something has showing you what its true potential is or what could the possibility be the outcome of something. So now that you have wind of that and, and you're correcting your own course for this, you're cleaning house, you're, you know, taking the next step to pr protect yourself in the future. And the Nine of Swords. So you're up in your head about it. It's definitely caused you some stress and worry. You know, you may have said something to somebody recently and and you started to rethink it, rehash it back over and you're realizing that mm, maybe you shouldn't have said that or maybe you shouldn't have done that. So you're questioning your own thoughts and actions. And the Eight of Rods. So yeah, something very quick is coming in. You know, very speedy, rapid action, movement. You know, this is a swift change that's coming in for you. And it's going to happen quite quickly. You know, maybe you've asked for this to happen in, you know, your your life by yourself. And, and all of a sudden you've realized that, you know, you held yourself back for quite a while. This is your card of almost freedom. You've decided to do something and, and it's quite out of the blue. You're going to surprise a lot of people with this that you're actually going to do it instead of just talking about it. You're actually doing it. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah. You've been held, holding yourself back for quite a while. It's not that you're feeling the victim or anything like that. You've just held yourself in a state of pause for a very long time and now you're surprising a lot of people because you're just starting to do things that isn't out of your character just other people haven't seen it before from you and the ten of pentacles so somebody's going to get an inheritance there's finances here there's security 
you know, your family long-term success is right around the corner and you're more than willing to do what it takes to achieve it. So that's beautiful for you. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But your cards are all about money, you know, understanding where you're at, what you have to do for your next step in your evolution, and you're taking those steps in order to bring it into your life. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watching over, are watched over by angels. Beautiful. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.